My name's Sharon Smith uh, and I, uh, well, I did a textile degree and then following on from that, I, I worked for a, an agency and did printed textile designs that were sold internationally. So my work was sold in Japan and New York, which was really exciting, but I really did miss working with people. And that was why I wanted to move into teaching. Uh, so I've been teaching for over 20 years, uh, textiles and worked in three different colleges, but I really love it at Wilberforce. Okay, so when the students arrive in September, uh, they tend to come with lots of different skills because they come from lots of different routes at GCSE. So the first couple of terms, I teach a broad range of textile techniques and processes. So you learn printed painted textiles, embroidery, felt making, fashion, illustration and construction. And once you've learned all of those skills, what we do is we work on the coursework unit. That unit's worth 60% of your overall grade. What the students really love is they choose their own personal theme uh, and starting point and then you develop that really using your strengths and your preferred ways of working from everything you've learned in those first two terms. Following on from that they do uh, an exam unit and that's 40% of the grade but again you can be supported through this until you sit the actual exam which is 15 hours. So I think really one thing that the students love about the course is that they get the opportunity uh, to just keep developing the work throughout the two years and it's all assessed uh, rather than that sort of pressure right at the end. Yeah, we've taken students to the Clove Show, to London, uh, to Manchester, Liverpool, to lots of major cities to visit exhibitions. Uh, we're also planning next year to go to Europe, perhaps Paris or Amsterdam. We're sort of looking at both options. Well, the students, most students, if they want a career within the creative industries, they go on to university. Uh, some students do go directly into employment, perhaps retail or a higher level apprenticeship, but the majority go on to university and there's a broad range of courses that they can do. Our students have become uh, costume designers for film and television. They might work as a knitwear designer, fashion designer, print designer. Really, the opportunities are really endless. They uh, have a practical unit that they need to do. So you've got a choice of fabric manipulation or photography uh, and manipulating those images digitally. So you can choose either of those two options. I've also set a research task for students to complete because it's really valuable looking at the work of other fashion and textile designers. So there's two elements to that. And then what they need to do is bring that along to enrolment and to the first lesson with me.